Hamas terrorists were being financially supported by several Chicago charities and Midwest operatives. That ruling almost 20 years ago from a federal jury in Chicago that found the supporters legally responsible for teenager David Boehm's death on an Israeli street. His parents awarded $156 million, money that tonight they are still fighting to collect. David, we did it. It just may be the beginning of, of something else. Joy from Stanley and Joyce Boym in Chicago in 2004, what would be a premonition of a legal struggle just beginning. Their 17-year-old son David had been gunned down at a bus stop outside Jerusalem in 1996 by Hamas militants. Under the then-new U.S. Anti-Terrorism Act, the grieving parents sued several pro-Palestinian nonprofits in the Chicago area, including the Islamic Association for Palestine, or IAP. They allege these groups were liable for their son's death after providing material support to terrorists. David I'll never have again. But at least I see justice for him. Now, nearly 20 years later, they've received nothing. Shortly after the verdict and judgment, IAP ceased operations and went out of business. But the Boims and their attorney, Dan Schlesinger, allege the leaders of that organization didn't go anywhere and were just trying to avoid paying up. We became aware that there was a startlingly similar organization called AMP, the American Muslims for Palestine, that had <clears throat> the same leadership the same mission, the same operations. IAP was essentially the same organization as AMP, but they just changed their name. The Boims have sued American Muslims for Palestine in Palos Hills, calling the organization an alter ego of the former group and therefore liable for the $156 million judgment. This diagram in their new Chicago lawsuit lists the original IAP leaders in 2004 here on the left and alleges they or their relatives are the same core leadership as the new AMP executives today here on the right. Even more striking, the Boynes allege AMP continues to facilitate fundraising for groups that funnel money to Hamas. And it's offensive. Attorney Christina Jump represents AMP. There's absolutely nothing that ties either of the organizations or the individuals involved concretely to any support of terrorism. They were formed by different individuals and for a very clear and stated purpose, which is to educate the American public on the rich culture and history of Palestine within the United States. AMP on its website states that all our funds and work is kept within the U.S. We are an independent American organization and not affiliated with any foreign entities or organizations. With the Israel-Hamas war raging, AMP has organized recent demonstrations for Palestinian support across the country, including this one in Washington. Jump says AMP's work is protected by the Constitution, and she says vital right now. Being able to peacefully demonstrate is a cornerstone of America. And them being able to gather and have an organization that gives them a voice to do that, that gives Palestinian Americans and Muslim Americans generally uh, the opportunity to unite and to express their fears and share their history and share their stories is exactly what America is all about. The Boehm's allegations now have the attention of state investigators in Virginia. The attorney general there announcing an investigation has been opened into whether AMP used funds raised for benefiting or providing support to terrorist organizations. AMP officials calling the state investigation a dangerous and defamatory smear. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.